This lecture is about one of the feared complications of trauma in ophthalmology, eight ball hyphema. In delivering this lecture, I'm indebted to Dr. Frieda Sai, who has performed an extensive literature search to underpin this very practical lecture. As we all know, hyphema has many causes, including intraocular surgery, spontaneous causes such as in neovascularization or in vascular anomalies such as juvenile xanthogranuloma, in clotting disorders, in patients on anticoagulation or antiplatelet treatment, increasingly in our increasingly elderly population, but trauma remains one of the main causes of high femur. The suggested incidence of traumatic high femur is around about 20 cases per 100,000 per year. The peak age is in younger children and adults, roughly the age 10 to 20 years, and there's a male preponderance. In children, the mechanism of injury is often a projectile, whereas in adults, it's often a blunt blow to the eye, often as part of assault. The way I think about traumatic high femur, the clinical grading system I use has five grades. We're all familiar with the first grade, which is microscopic high femur, where cells may be floating around in the anterior chamber, but haven't yet settled to form a visible high femur. Grade one high femur is categorized when the high femur settles to less than one third of the anterior chamber depth. Grade two high femur is where the settled high femur occupies between one third and one half of the anterior chamber depth. Grade three high femur is when the high femur is greater than 50% but less than 100% of the anterior chamber depth. And finally, the feared grade four high femur, sometimes called a black ball or eight ball high femur, when there is a total clotted high femur within the anterior chamber. It is estimated that total high femur occurs with a prevalence of about 8% of all traumatic high femurs. It's important because it has a worse visual prognosis and an increased prevalence of complications. And this is evidenced by reduced visual acuity recovery in the more severe end of traumatic high femur. If you enjoyed this lecture so far, please subscribe to http colon forward slash forward slash op.vision. I hope you enjoy this series as much as we have putting it together. Thank you.